Okay, guys. So question one, how you do this one? Not necessarily to draw. Uh. Okay. So how you how you calculate raised only? Remember how you sketch diagram. If you need to draw, you sketch like a skill diagram. Okay. So the triangle is like this. Are you swimming? Upwards. Here is zero point seven two kind of. And then current is to the left. Here is zero point five four. Okay, we're looking for the magnitude. The magnitude is this direction, kind of. Okay, but you're not necessary to do the measurement. Uh. So I have to draw out. So just two calculation. Uh. Yeah, Pythagoras theorem. Uh. Right angle triangle. Uh. Okay. So the value is square root. Okay, the V is square root 0 0.54 square plus 0 0.72 square. Direction is what? You get the answer 0 0.9 meter per second. Okay. So how do you measure the Exactly. Didn't you do calculation, man? What the hell, man? Okay. Uh. Okay. So how you find the direction? The direction is angle, ma. Okay. Like I said, the angle you measure from the x-axis here. Okay. This angle. So how you find this angle? Perpendicular, yeah, okay. zigzag rule, remember? So we can find this yeah, angle. Can okay, you see where's the angle I draw? Okay, so if you look. Yeah, this is the angle they want you to find. Uh. Okay. So, triangle, triangle, uh, how you find this angle? Okay, my 0 0.54 is adjacent. This is my O. Okay, so OA is tangent. Uh. Tangent theta equals to opposite over adjacent. You solve this, the theta is. Hmm? What? Yeah, direction. What direction? direction. Calculating. Yeah. I'm calculating. Oh, I write at the wrong space. But whatever. It's here. 53.13. Okay. So the next question after 1.5 minutes, it reach point P. What's the distance between P and Q? So we know the speed is how much? 0 0.9. Ma. Okay, time second, 1.5 minutes common to seconds. We get answer 81 meter. Okay, guys, B, when a swimmer is crossing the river, his action produces constant forward force Why he moves at a constant speed. So why? Remember why you move at constant speed? Because the force is balanced. Huh? Okay, so you say his forward force. Okay, so you guys are so happy today. Is balanced by the friction force. Okay, that's why he move at constant speed. Hmm? Net resultant force zero. Can I balance? Ma? Balance means zero. Ma? Resultant force equals zero. Resultant, must write the word resultant. Net can. Net can. Net or resultant. Yeah. Don't just write force. I thought you said is that force? Okay, huh? Resultant force. Two. Balance, you got one mark. Another one, you mentioned balance by what? Friction force, another one mark. Okay, number two, we discuss now, everyone. My friend Dana. Okay, so, uh, blah, blah, blah. Accelerate, 5.3 seconds. What's the speed? So, a equals to V minus V over T. Uh. Remember this? Okay, because we have the time. So A is 7.2. V, we don't know. Initial rest, right? Is it? Yeah, rest zero. Uh. Time 5.3. Okay, so you solve this. The V is 38 meters per second. All right. Good. Okay. Next, number two. Calculate the result of force on the motorcyclist and the motorcycle. Yes, very good. F equals to MA. Uh. Very simple. Okay. Okay, so the mass, 240, acceleration, 7.2. So the answer is 1,700 newton. I think the mass came right up already, is it? 240 times 7.2, 1,728 newton, correct? Question V1, state how vector going to be different from scale quantity. Okay, guys, huh? vector has both magnitude and direction. Okay, magnitude and direction. 
But scalar only magnitude. Yes, only has magnitude. Yeah, just so easy, one by only. Okay, number two. Describe what happens to the velocity. Okay, guys, we're gonna have the velocity as it travels around the band at constant speed. Jesus Christ. No, they tell you constant speed. Uh. Yes, so the velocity is changing. Uh. Yeah, it's yellow. Uh. Okay, so the velocity changes because the direction changes. Okay, velocity changes because direction change. Wait, velocity changes all. Yeah, velocity is a vector quantity. Okay, so even though the magnitude is the same, but direction change, so we consider it's change. Okay. So I explain why there must be a reason for the motorcyclist as she travels around the band. This one is your. Remember the circuit centripetal force towards the center one. So why you need the reason force? Because you need a force to help the uh the the stay motorcyclist on track. stay on track and change direction. Yes, you need the friction to change direction. That's why you need resultant force. Okay, so this one you say <coughs> resultant force. Oh, Yo, <laughs> one thousand. This is standard, really. Very good low. H T way. Okay, ah. Uh. Yeah. So because force is needed, okay, for the motorcycle to change direction. Uh. All right. Sorry. Hold on, uh, technical issues. So, help. Okay, for the motorcyclist to change direction. Okay, uh, she stay home. She's not even online. She's not even online. Okay. Uh. <coughs> oh, one more. Two marks on point. What is that? Okay, uh, right, one more, uh, okay. It's needed for motorcycles to change direction as the motorcyclist accelerates. Actually, as the this sentence, wait, wait, no, 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 not S, not S, F equals to MA. Okay, so you show F equals to MA. Okay, the motorcyclist accelerating. Uh. Okay, yeah, so there's resultant force. Uh. Balance force, constant speed. Uh. Hmm? Not zero, not zero. She's accelerating what? 7.2. Uh. 